Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll discuss to you on how to use the ion input and the ion button. So here is our blank project. We'll be trying to modify this output and we will make a simple application that add two numbers. Okay, so let's start. So let's modify the source code by removing this or the content of the container okay then let's check the output fresh okay so we have a blank output so we'll be adding a two ion input or the text boxes and one button so let's be let's add okay so in here we'll be adding first the button so ion button okay ion button And then let's say compute. Okay. And check the output. So we have the button here. So we can uh, change the color of this. For example, you want a you want a success or the green button. So there are teams used in Ionic. For example, a color, let's say success. By default, the color of the button is primary. So let's try that. Okay, so we have the button here which is a color green. Then we'll be adding a text field. In Ionic, we call that Ionic input. Okay, so Ionic Ion input. Then Ion input. Ion input dash. Okay. Then we'll be adding a placeholder placeholder so we'll be adding text this input first number then check the output so we have here the this input first number our first ionic input so we'll be adding a label so we can group the ion input and label by using the ion item so we'll be enclosing ionic input or the ion input and the ion label with ion item Okay, then we'll be adding ion label. Ion label, then we'll be adding a label here. First number, let's say first number. Okay, control S. And then let's check the output. Okay, so we have this output. So there are options that we can use in or, or how are we going to show the or display the label. 
So in here we'll be using the uh, attribute position and we'll be using the floating as the value. So we'll be using the, or we'll be adding a attribute which is position. Then the value is floating. Then let's check the output. So by default that's the output but now we added a we added an attribute or a attribute which is floating okay so okay that will okay that that will be the output okay so once we select the or once we select the text box okay the label will be uh, will float above the placeholder so so that is the output that we want to uh, to accomplish then we'll be copying that one we'll be duplicating that to add another input and then this one will be second number then please input second number and then let's check the output okay the output is by the way it will automatically update you don't need to refresh your browser okay so uh, the next thing that we need to do or we're going to do is will be creating the event so once the user click this button it will get the value of the first number and the second number and it will compute the sum so the sum will be displayed in a paragraph tag okay so we'll be displaying the output in a paragraph tag okay paragraph Next is we are going to add a click property of the compute button. So to add, you are going to use the property click. So in view, we use add click is equal to the name of the method. So for example, compute. Then in our script, we'll be adding the we'll be adding a method or methods and then then methods and then we will add the method compute then this example I will be using the alert to test the method before adding the the whole statement so for example hello world so once the user click the button compute it will prompt the user with hello world statement okay so let's check the output and then let's try to click the compute button okay so you don't need to refresh your application it will automatically update the system or the application okay so next so it's working as you click the compute button it prompts the hello world statement so what we need to do is we're going to use the value of the first number and the second number and the result will be displayed for the meantime in this alert dialog box okay so let's go back to our source code and then in here we'll be using the B model to bind the data on our ion input. So in here we'll be using the B model is equal to then the name, for example, first num. And then for the second input, we'll be naming it to 
second num or the second number then on our view on our script we'll be adding again a variable or a property which is the data property and then it will return the value so the first num will be initialized into zero or we can use it as empty comma and for the second num will be initializing it into empty also okay so that's it and then Okay, let's check first the second num. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay, the spelling is correct. And then in here we'll be uh, creating a formula, but first we need to define a variable where we are going to store the result. So for example, let sum is equal to zero semicolon and then sum is equal to first num or we need to use the this property this dot first num plus this dot second num then semicolon the next part is we are going to display this using the alert statement. Okay. Okay. Problem with that is okay. So okay, it detected that the sum okay is a uh, has a data type of a number. Then we are storing. A string in it so we need to convert this into number so there are many ways to do that but in this example we'll be using the number function then automatically the value of first num will be converted to number okay and then let's check what will happen so then let's wait okay so the our application is already correct okay and then let's check the output so we'll try to input a value let's say 20 plus 30 so the expected output is 50 so let's try to click the compute okay so hello world still hello world why so problem let's check the source code so i discovered the problem we forgot to define or define our ion input and our ion button in here so we need to import that so since we use the ion input okay and the ion button we need to define it here in order for us to my un uh, in order for us to manipulate that component okay so ion input and ion button so that is our problem so uh, that's the reason why it's not the result is not uh, displaying properly so ion input so anything that you are going to use on your application, you need to define it here. Especially if you are going to my unit, uh, if you are going to manipulate the property of that component. So since we are manipulating the component, uh, the property of the ion input and the ion button, so we need to specify it here. Okay, so just wait for. 
a few seconds before the up the IDE process ion button ion button okay then we have the here and then the press it uh, takes a while before it recognizes the button and then okay let's try so for example you have 20 plus 30 then let's compute okay so we got the correct output so it's 50 so let's try the decimal value so 20.5 so the expected output is 50.5 so the output is 50.5 so in this example instead of using this alert dialog will be displaying the result in a paragraph tag okay so we'll be defining a variable again in here and we'll be naming it as result then of course it is empty and in here will be displaying the output okay so result so whatever the value of this variable will be displayed here so let's say the result or the sum is then space and then afterwards instead of the alert dialog or Yes, alert dialog will be using the result is equal to sum. Uh, this that result is equal to sum. Save it and let's wait. Okay, so we recognize a problem here. Cannot find the name result. So. Okay, so we can define that as a number sample so that we can not, will not have any problem anymore. Okay, so we initialize it to zero so so that we will not have any problem anymore. Okay, save. And then let's try. So 30, 30.5 and 20. So let's try that. So the result is 50.5. So let's try another number. 40. So the result is 70.5. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for watching. See you on our next videos.